Hey guys, I um, wanted to go ahead and say thank you for uh, just being able to join us for these uh, streaming sessions. I really appreciate everybody that's been coming out um, and watching everything that we do here. Um, just kind of wanted to go over a little bit of what the video outputs have been here um, for our stream. We've pretty much had a lot of content covered over uh, the span of time since we've been playing. And I've been promising y'all that we would put out some videos once I get some graphic stuff done. Um, we've got that done part done with the team. So um, we're ready to put out our first video. So as you can tell, what we're showing today is the Windsward board. It's the first uh, war that we ever did. Um, during that time, Lena had control over the uh, first part of the map. It was a race to get gain territory. Um, as you can tell in this war, they gained the Windsward map positioning first. Um, so that was this was our first declaration, our first war on the server. Um, if you're those who haven't watched what happened here, you guys can just watch it uh, now and, and kind of experience it. So I won't spoil it for y'all. Um, but I will talk a little bit over you know kind of what's going on um, in this series here. Uh, so uh, if my timing matches up here, uh, what we're looking at pretty much, um, I'm going to look this up here. I think I might be a little bit ahead on my side, so I apologize, guys. Uh, but essentially what we're looking at is uh, I'm playing a fire mage build um, with the nice gauntlet. My first build was a pure mage build. I was part of the main zerg. Um, and honestly, I didn't know really what I was gonna do, uh, do in this war. I, I didn't really understand uh, how the maps work, how the wars work too much. We did a couple in the beta and closed beta, um, but I never really had a dedicated positioning. We didn't have a dedicated strategy. So coming into this war was a little bit tricky for me. I, I really needed time to understand what was going on, um, build wise, uh, positioning wise, and strategy wise. So obviously, you what you got to do in wars is claim three territories. Um, and then proceed down the line here to attack the fortress, uh, taking out one of the gates or a couple of them if possible to get as many people funneled into the castle, uh, taking the positioning inside, uh, and eventually, you know, capture the main point, which is what you do to win, right? So, um, as you can tell here, I'm running around kind of just zerging, shooting into piles, spamming abilities into it, um, swapping between my Frost Gauntlet and the... Um, fire staff and that you can probably see coming up here i actually got one shot and i didn't know what killed me at first i learned uh wearing light armor is not the best thing to do in wars uh especially with cannons that are uh, semi upgraded you get kind of one shotted sometimes and i think i got either comboed by spells and a cannon but i, I got slapped um and, and we learned that early i mean i'm level 32 at uh, this time so all, all of us are pretty under level so cannon damage definitely huge um now that i'm 60 it's not as as bad i can actually take a couple of hits um and and be okay with it but i mean it's still pretty strong so you guys never want to really take those damages it's another reason why um any of you guys trying to join wars these days you're probably not going to be able to um just because if you're not level 60 and geared up you're not going to be very useful in wars everybody's running max resilience in wars and you'll see that in some of the later videos um, it's actually very difficult to sit there and be lower level or under geared and do damage um, with max resilience they're just going to eat that and it's going to be like you're not really even doing anything you're hitting a wall um, so it's never smart to do um, so really guys try to focus on your builds try to focus on what works and a little bit on the meta and then kind of what you need to be doing uh, in your positioning in wars um, but as you can tell here we're running up to the uh, sides here trying to take points um, I believe we had multiple teams running different sides of the map if I'm correct we ended up capturing C on that play um, and obviously the next thing to do is to capture A and B um, so you're gonna see more of that movement throughout this uh, whole map uh, where we're kind of diving into the uh, area Trying to kind of assemble right now what our game plan is. I believe we're all grouping. Um, obviously, I have the current comms uh, audio turned off on this. I'm going to have it off on all of them uh, just to kind of keep our strats and our mentality of how we do wars off of um, the system. We, do, we just don't want people copying too much. Although, our strategy has vastly changed um, from when we originally did this uh, war. It's, it sounds way different. It actually strategizes way, way different. Um, and it's pretty much the whole gameplay is just a lot, lot different than what we did in the builds and the strategies and what we run. It's, it's nothing like what this first war is. So it's kind of cool watching, going back and watching this, seeing how 
Um, we did some things and, and what worked. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it was a pretty even playing field for both sides. Both teams were about the same level. Both teams are obviously similarly ge geared. Um, unlike nowadays where we, we were fighting purple and other, you know, factions, um, gear score went up so high. Uh, you know, purple really went and took the edge on that uh, on Olympus here. They just took over gear score. They disappeared for like 10 days. So after we've won like four or five straight wars against them, they disappeared, went into um, into PVE hiding and just kind of PVE the shit out of the map and got super high gear score and, and super leveled. And then uh, wars were vastly different after that. And, and some other things obviously influenced it. But that was uh, the main thing I saw from these wars is they were just better geared. Um, but like what we're seeing here is uh, essentially everybody's just running to the point. And what we're trying to do is time our abilities a little bit better. Um, it's kind of chaos right now, but when you time stuff together, you can really get um, some good DPS out. Even though they're getting all those, you know, sacred grounds on the floor and, and healing, you can pump damage right through that if you focus uh, the DPS enough. Um, these days, it's, it's not as easy to do. You have to kind of strategize a little bit different. I think some of them were trying to flank us, looks like. What's interesting to me in wars is your healers don't really are not looking for you, right? They're not really necessarily looking for you. They're looking for the a certain area, uh, the zone in heals, which makes more sense in trying to individually heal people. So what I think I didn't realize, and, I, and you'll see it in a couple of the wars, is I, I really didn't understand the run towards zones, uh, too much healing zones. Um, most of them are applied towards the middle. So being that I'm, I'm a squishy mage, I, I didn't really like running towards middle. It, w it wasn't really my aspect of what I wanted to do. I wanted to try to deal as much damage as possible and not uh, get in the you know midst of it where I can just have an axe player uh, tear me to shreds. So you see me going in and out on some of these sacred gowns trying to get some healing. And, and playing Zerg, I gotta be honest, it's, just, it's a ton of fun, bro. Just in there and just throwing damage down, uh, playing alongside the uh, healer stuff, it's a lot better. Uh, you'll see my other videos where I play flanking positions, and it's a lot different, man. You're really not going to see too many. You're not really going to see any heals uh, coming from playing flank just because you're you're scattered, you're you're separated, you're moving around, you're moving quickly. Nothing's sitting still, pretty much, when you're playing flank. <clears throat> but when you're playing Zerg, you're kind of sitting there. You're sitting together with your teammates. You're doing the points, and and you're just fighting enemies. I mean, one thing that I, I do notice in these videos is, uh, and I still have that problem, it's kind of gauging some of my uh, AOE zones where I'm clicking to do, uh, you know, Firestorm and Pillar of Fire and landing those areas, Ice Storms. You can't, I, I have a hard time, and it, it maybe even just my mouse setup, but seeing where the zone is, especially during these chaotic fights, uh, you can tell I just, I'm throwing stuff down, man. It's not really uh, landing anywhere where it's supposed to. I'm trying to gauge it, but I'm having a hard time doing that. That one was a little bit better just because I, I have a better elevation on the ground. And that's important, guys. Higher ground really matters, especially when you're casting stuff down. Um, to be able to see your zones, you're going to want to stand somewhere a little bit higher up if you can. I got to be honest, I man. The light roll looks so good, but it's, it's not the best. Medium armor, guys, and up is what you want in wars. And uh, most companies won't even take you into war if they see you running light unless you've already been running with them and it's been working uh because i've seen it a couple times but normally you get pretty much one shotted you got to be very very aware of your positioning when you're running light armor and, and honestly at the moment I, I we don't recommend it not because of just being squishy but it actually doesn't work at this point in time um from where i'm dropping the video and doing this edit it's uh november 1st um, essentially what's happening is, uh, there's a 20%, um, damage buff that you're supposed to get with light armor, but you're not getting that, uh, it's bugged out. Um, so hopefully Amazon fixes that. We'll see. But yes, it's, it's very bugged and golly, I get one shot at again by cannon. Um, but yes, it's very, a lot of stuff is very bugged out as you can tell. So light armor right now isn't really giving a damage buff. I believe medium is, I'm not sure. <laughs> But um, what's what's great about medium is, is you get the dodge rolls three times, not even rolls, uh, iframe dodges, 
and um, pretty much I think it's been confirmed that those actually dodge attacks better than the dodge roll itself. Uh, the great thing about dodge roll is that you do gain a little more distance separation from the opponent. Um, but with the way the abilities work, especially with Great Axe and some other ones, Hatch and all that, they can just run up to you regardless. They have so many speed buffs uh, that allow you to get up there, reap, and pull you in. So um, essentially, it's, they're, they're saying it's just not worth it. Now the damage buff comes into play, okay. Especially playing a pure DPS character, you're gonna want that. Okay. All right, so obviously we broke down the doors. Uh, what we figured out is um, the kegs do a ton of damage, way more than we realized. Um, so dropping kegs right at the front door as soon as possible with everybody on it will essentially blow the door apart really quickly before they even have a chance to repair. Um, I believe that's still the same thing that happens now. Um, golly, look how good this setup is, guys. Look, we have siege weapons and stuff. I feel like we, we've won away from this strategy a little bit on some of the other wars. Uh, siege weapons are crucial. You can see, see that we've planted a bunch of them. Um, now what we're trying to do here is we're running through the doorway, trying to make sure that we're able to get in uh, and, and make a push in there. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I was really nervous. <laughs> I didn't want to die as much as I did. I ended up dying way too much. Uh, but you can't always help that anymore. You got to be the best you can in where, but it's just so much stuff happening at once. Yeah, so I think our strat here was to kind of pile up, get behind the wall, stay safe for a second while everybody gets together, um, and then group push together, uh, which is why you're seeing us on the side here. Just trying to get away from those cannons nowadays when you go to war you you'll see people take out cannons it's very important too and this is right here is a prime example of why um we're getting barraged by the cannons it's the first war we didn't we didn't really know under, uh, understand cannon uh pressure but uh good cannon users can really you know be effective in the battlefield and so here we go we're running into the zone Um, I think at this point they're telling us to run through um, I'm so caught up in the chaos of the fight uh, I'm not really pushing through the door like I'm supposed to and I think I have a hilarious moment where they're saying go 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 and then instead of going I turn into a pillar of ice <laughs> and you'll probably see that shit here man but uh, yeah essentially what you're supposed to do is right here this is a mistake Right, this is a mistake. Why is it a mistake? Because we're, we're wasting time fighting in a doorway that's already been destroyed. And so I think we're all kind of nervous about running through and just dying before we make it to the other side. The thing is that there's so many of us, if we do this correctly, you should be able to push through the door regardless. Um, and, and you don't really get out DPS that much because somebody's going to take the damage. I mean, you're going to have people falling, right, and dying. So... So I'm, uh, this right here, this was a mistake on my part. I shouldn't have been fighting from the doorway either. Uh, we, I was just trying to get in and, and try to make sure I didn't just die and get blown up. So <clears throat> essentially what's happening there. So uh, this is what you normally see a custom now um, when the doors break down. Is you run trace the ramparts and you take that over and you just DPS downward. Um, I made several mistakes on this part. Just trying to make sure I'm able to get Um, and you'll, you're going to see that throughout uh, this process here. Um, this is actually one of our shorter wars, by the way, guys. We, we succeeded pretty pretty well. Yeah, see, my Firestorm range isn't good. I'm, try I'm still trying to gauge it, man. And it's... Uh, It's not doing great. Took about 20 seconds ahead on, on some of these clips, so I apologize to you guys. But yeah, so 
getting focused here. I, I made a mistake. I dropped, I fell off the ramparts and it, it fucked me. I didn't know where to go. You could tell I was confused. I was like, where the hell am I supposed to run up or down or sideways? <laughs> it was sloppy as hell. Uh, but we did manage to uh, come back and, and try another chance at fighting at this point. Um, team was already in there still fighting. So we had the numbers, I believe. One thing about wars, a uh, big reason why you don't want to die, uh, your death timer gets longer. Every time you die, it gets longer. So staying alive is pretty damn important. Uh, making sure that you're in the right time, right positioning and following directions is important. This right here, I think is a prime setup of what c web is supposed to be. You're supposed to have all the doors all lined up, shooting inward, and that helps control the interior part. Uh, alongside the guys that are on ramparts all over the place, you can see them. Um, but this mistake right here of standing in the doorway, man, that's just the dumbest thing. Don't do that, guys. And, and I, I don't know why I threw that. I panicked. <laughs> this is me panicking. All right, so here we go again. We're running through. We're trying to go up, but I'm also still trying to get some DPS out. And I, I think I made a mistake on this part. Yeah, I got I got crushed. I ran into the ice shower. Um, I, I don't know what what I was doing. Firestorm is garbage for that reason right there. Uh, I was playing like I was if I was a flanker. It didn't matter. It didn't work. Uh, but either way, our team was standing on the point at this point. At this part, we had the numbers. Uh, we had more than they did on the point, and they started capping it. Um, and I believe in a few minutes, seconds here sure it catches up yeah during my death time I think was maybe one and it's gonna be a little bit late for you guys but yes we do we do win this one I'm gonna try to match up the timeline as best I can guys with the video clips but yes we ended up winning this one, so woohoo! That was actually uh, our first victory, and it was really great. It was really awesome. Man, if I could just play the sounds that were going through, everybody was going nuts, guys. It was insane. It was it was so much fun. It's exactly what we expected wars to be. Um, just chaos and, and everybody going at each other. Um, but we ended up having a better plan at the time, and, and that was one of our first wins that we had. Um, on display for everybody to see the server went nuts people doubted uh, the covenant but mo you know doubted us to be able to make success and it's so great man to see look back and see how great we did on on this uh, part right here on this uh, on the one of the biggest parts in the map you know so that man I really appreciate you guys tuning in uh, just make sure you guys uh, subscribe down below um, like the video follow me on the stream at Starlito uh the s being the number five so five uh star Lido. uh follow us on twitch come watch come participate we got more wars more content more builds more things to talk about i want to get more things out there but this was my first video really thought um you know this would be a good, good one for you guys to see and witness and i really appreciate you guys tuning in man the love has been amazing and just overall how everybody's been participating in this it's been a great great experience so far the banter with the other factions has been pretty good and we hope to just continue to pump out more videos i'm gonna try to put out more so just stay tuned follow the channel and y'all got you guys will see a lot more content i appreciate it have a great night